Hello, my name is Kenneth Robertson, and this video is for Lesson 3, Investigating Water on the Earth and Moon, Part 2, The Water Activity. For this activity, you'll be doing a set of four experiments, with experiment number one being titled, In Hot Water, experiment two, Let It Settle, experiment three, Just Passing Through, and experiment four, It's Freezing in Here. You have multiple options for approaching this section that would depend on the experience level of your students. It is up to you to determine which approach will work best for you, depending on your students. For the first experiment, you are heating up water to see how it may help you obtain clean drinking water. For this experiment, you will need a glass beaker, preferred to be clear or a plastic cup, plastic wrap, a rubber band, some food coloring, and some boiling hot water. It is important to remember to be cautious with this boiling hot water as this could burn the user. First, you're going to pour the very hot boiling water into the beaker. Then, you're going to add 3 to 4 drops of the food coloring. After that is done, you will seal the top of the beaker with the plastic wrap and use the rubber band to hold it down. At this point is where you observe. Some questions you may want to ask is, where does the water collect? Is the water clean? And what specifically may have cleaned the water? For experiment number 2, let it settle, you are seeing how possibly letting the water settle with contaminants may help you to obtain clean drinking water. For this experiment, you will need a container that will be able to hold at least one liter of water, some potting soil, about two tablespoons, a camera, stopwatch or a timer, and possibly a tripod. You are first going to go outside and grab your two tablespoons of potting soil, after which you are going to add the one liter of water. Make sure to shake the mixture well to make sure that it's all good and combined. Then, set the container down and let it sit. You are going to take pictures every 30 seconds for a total of 3 minutes. Make sure to compare your photos. What is happening? Is the water becoming cleaner? Is it clean enough to drink? And what would have happened if you let it sit for longer than one day? For experiment number 3, just passing through, you are testing out different strengths of filters to see how it may help you to obtain clean drinking water. In this experiment, you will need a container that can hold at least 1 liter of water, some potting soil, a total of two tablespoons, coffee filters, rubber bands, four glass beakers, or four plastic cups. You are first going to go outside and grab your two tablespoons of potting soil. After which, you're going to add the one liter of water. Make sure to shake the mixture well to make sure that it's all good and combined. Then, you're going to want to set up the four beakers. The first one should be empty. The second one should have one coffee filter. The third one should have two coffee filters. And the third one should have a total of three coffee filters. Make sure to secure the coffee filters with the rubber band while still allowing some of the coffee filter to hang over the edge of the glass beakers. Make sure to pour the same amount of water into each of the four beakers. It should be enough to clearly observe, but not enough to rise up to touch to the bottom of the coffee filter. Observe how the water at the bottom of each beaker is compared to each other. How did adding more coffee filters interact with the cleaning and filtering of the water? For the last experiment, it's freezing in here, you are testing to see how dropping the temperature may help you to obtain clean drinking water. For this experiment, you will need two sets of containers, each able to hold about a quart of water, some food coloring, and a freezer. Carefully fill each of the containers with one quart of liquid. Then, put only one to two drops of the food coloring into each of the containers. You also want to make sure that you fully mix the food dye and the water together. You're also going to want to make sure to secure some lids on these containers to make sure the liquid does not spill. Put one of the containers into the freezer and leave the other one to set aside in room temperature. After 24 hours, remove the container that was in the freezer and carefully remove the ice out of the container. Examine the ice. Is it uniform or is it different in some of the areas? Compare the ice to the water of food coloring that was left out. Is the water uniform or are some areas also different? I hope this video has helped you better understand the experiment. 
and I wish you the best of luck on your investigating water on the earth and moon lesson.